money glory to the king of king the lord of lord i am not i am the rose of sharon the god that is all knowing the power of god the king and the ocean divider thank you father for this day that you have made Father, as we hear this exhortation this morning, bless this word in our heart. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good morning once again, my people, children of God. Good morning. By the grace of God this morning, I'm very glad that God made us to make it. May we wish to be alive, but there are no more. I want you to be happy for God is always on our side no matter what we do by the grace of God this morning I want to be looking at a topic titled doing the right thing for the right reason do the right for the right reason our test is from Luke chapter 15, 25 to 28. By the grace of God, we will read verse 28 of chapter 15. And he was angry and would not go in. Therefore came his father heart and entreated him. Do the right thing for the right reason. In life, men must learn to appreciate some certain events that happen in our life. We must understand that the major reason God give appraisers to some of his children and not give appraisal to some of his children is because most time people do the right thing at the wrong time and at, for the wrong reason there are things we must understand that doing the wrong thing or doing the right thing at the wrong for the wrong reason does not guarantee your Believe in Christ. It always shows your self-centeredness. It always portrays your inability to understand the ways of the Lord. This story talks about the eldest son to the prodigal son. When he came, effect bad but his father was happy that yes my lost soul was found so many people are like that today they do the right thing for the wrong reason of the truth it was his right to be angry because his father has never celebrated him or this why that he has worked with him. You man speaking. The man or the son of the prodigal or the brother prodigal son's brother ought to be angry because he has worked with his father all days, all years since the prodigal son left. His father has now one day trip party for him. Many people feel their consistency will take them far. Many people feel self-centeredness and self-righteousness can win the heart of God. Probably the motive behind the prodigal son working with his father was not a genuine motive. For if it was, when his brother came, he would have joined his father to be happy. 
So many of us are today are dead. We do the right thing for the wrong reasons. We act upon some certain informations that are not actually reliable and dependable. We have given ourselves to evil, full of pride, self said that these are wrong reasons or wrong reasons. But to human, they sound right. We should learn to do things for the right reasons. Jesus allows some certain people to come our path so that we can be a teacher to them. So, anyone who hasn't received Christ today, that was it me. You shouldn't talk to them. That was it me. When they give their life to Christ, we should celebrate them. For the word of God said, heaven rejoice when a soul is born in heaven. We rejoice just as the prodigal son. It is high time we understand this fact that Christianity is not a religion but a relationship. And every relationship is built on self agreements, not community agreements, not regional agreements, not twin agreements, a personal relationship, a personal agreement with God. And of such, there is no need for we to be angry at others when their way does not portray God. By the grace of God, in relationship with His Father, I think the greatest desire of the older brother, he would have rejoiced to see his father restore his other son. I'm telling you, that's a fact. If the relationship of this young man was what the elder brother actually wanted, he would have rejoiced with him. Yes, my brother is back, my sibling is back. But instead, he felt bad. He felt that his father was being partial in this regard. The joy that gave his father would have brought tears of joy to his own eyes. Furthermore, if the other son has any compassion for his brother, he also would have rejoiced as his return, just like his father did. Instead, he was totally self-centered. That's pride. I became angry. This illustrates Proverbs chapter 13, verse 10, which says, Only by pride comment contention. This elder brother was proud because he thought he was better than his younger brother. We can't love and respect someone we think is beneath us. Some people are better athletes than others. Some are better businessmen than others. Some are speakers than others and so forth. This is an ungodly comparison. For we dare not make ourselves of the number or compare ourselves with some that command, that commit themselves. But they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 12. We need to recognize that our accomplishments don't make us better or worse than others. God doesn't value us or define us by what we do. He looks at our hearts and why we do what we do. Better performance does not make a better person. A person's character
can be severely wanting even though their performance is good. A classic example of this was his, this older brother. He did all the right thing for all the wrong reasons. Inside, he was corrupt and selfish. He performed righteously to get his father's favor and eventually his fortune. His fortune. It's God. Why do you do what you do? What is your real motivation for wanting to ascend some gift, talent, or skill? Today, ask the Lord to show you any area of your endeavor where you are doing the right thing for the wrong reason. If there is something, don't get under condemnation for it. Just repent. Change your mind and attitude and move forward to do the right thing for the right reason. Praise God. The grace of God. God is faithful by His grace. And then to France at one. Join me tomorrow for another exhortation like this. Okay, stay blessed.